What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the Royal Battle, or Battle Royal Avenue, and got to test out the Battle Royal format. Now, there is a little something that I kind of want to do right now. Uh, as you probably remember, we got ourselves Infer Inferno Blade in a trade with our, our Pokemon Sun uh, walkthrough, and it happened to evolve right there and then and it caught the uh what was it called the, it got the effect which was let me see flame body now because of that effect right next to our good old our good old egg that actually saved up a few steps warmed it up and it yeah we're very very close to hatching this pokemon so i'm kind of curious to see what pokemon we can actually get and the reason i'm being curious is because i yeah it's been a while since i've actually played pokemon sun and moon so more than likely, we're going to get a hatched egg right here, and if we do it right now, then, you know, we could open up that slot for another Pokemon that we could we could use right here. I already have a Pokemon in mind, and, well, here we are in Route 7. Now, there is a little bit of something right here. We can't go beyond this, and, well, speak of the devil. This egg is now hatching. I wonder what it could be and bam look at that okay so we just got ourselves an eevee hmm okay so this is an interesting development because here we have eevee and now this will enable us to actually get ourselves pretty much every single evolution meaning if i trade myself in a ditto to this eevee bam it's gonna be easy so here we have Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. Current studies show it that it can evolve into a terrible eight different species of Pokemon. Now, I am not going to give Eevee a nickname right now because, well, I haven't decided whether or not to have it on my team. Now, let's see. It's at level one. And the, like I said, there is a wide variety of Pokemon it can evolve into, like Glaceon, Leafeon, Fla Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon, and, and what was it again? Uh, fuck. Forgot its name. Uh, 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 yeah, forgot its name. Hold on, just a sec. Hold on. Uh, fuck. Forgot its name. You know, the fairy type Pokemon. God dang it. But yeah, there it is. We got ourselves a new, we got ourselves a new Eevee, and you know what? We are going to, yeah, we're going to put this Pokemon back into the PC because, uh, well, every, while it can evolve into eight different kinds of Pokemon, each one of them is a singular type, and, well, we kind of need another Pokemon with, like, double typing and all that stuff, so, let's go right ahead and just take care of that, just put it back into the PC and all that stuff, so, it's probably a good thing that we got ourselves a Fletchling and evolved it. Yeah, very, very good thing. And I do not like that I have to press B to open this thing, or A. So, let's go right ahead. And let's go right ahead and let's see. We could use Yokozuna. It is a Pokemon that we probably will be needing. Let's see. We got Buckus right here. You know what? Let's go right ahead and bring in Yokozuna. Not Rockruff. Let's go bring in uh, Yokozuna because it will be a Pokemon that will be needed. Again, my team is not set in stone yet, guys. I will be switching them up uh, again. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be an issue for me to just train these Pokemon and all that stuff. So, uh, you know what? Let's go fast. Let's go with a Tauros right here because this Pokemon is fast. There we go. Look at that. You see? This beats a bike. It really does. So, there we go. Going up into Route 7. Okay, so like I was saying before, now, there is a little bit of an issue. You cannot cross this area right here. This is a captain's barricade. You can pass through here once you've declared the Trial of Wella uh, Volcano Park. So, we cannot go there just yet. Now, we're gonna just going to get off right here. And before we do anything, let's go right ahead and go right here because there is something that we can actually find, I think. I don't know. What a oh, damn it. Wrong way. Wrong way. See, he, you know... You see, this is the this is the thing about Pokemon. 
Uh, let's see. I don't think you can cross this. No, you can't go there yet. I think. All right. Screw it. You're missing out if you ever see Captain Kawaii's dancing. Now go up to the volcano. Okay, alrighty. So, now, a lot of you guys said that I could have waited to get Fledgling. Because you can actually get it right here at Willow Volcano Park. But I couldn't wait any longer. Plus, I needed a, you know, I really wanted a traded Pokemon rather than a, you know, a, a regular Pokemon. Just to bring the levels up just a tad bit. But, in this area right here, you can actually find some pretty cool Pokemon. Like Cubone, Fletchling, Kangaskhan, Magby, and Sandalit. Now, Sandalit is a very interesting Pokemon itself because it's one of the, the rare Pokemon that you can actually evolve through gender. Like, it, the gender actually, uh, the pay, well, it depends on the gender. If the gender is female, you can, you can instantly evolve it. But if it's a male, then yeah, you can't do anything about that. You can use the free space in your bag to help better organize your items. That is pretty cool. And, well, let's see. Another... Let's see, let's see. Let's go right here. We're going to be attacked by a few Pokemon. And the cool thing about this now is that I can actually capture more Pokemon without worrying about hatching that egg. As you can see, this is where you can actually capture a Fletchling at level 16. Not much of a difference. I just did what I had to do, guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, I really like trading Pokemon now that I can do it right here. And let's go ahead and grab this item. We're getting ourselves a Hyper Potion. Not bad. And yes, we're going to get attacked by a lot of Pokemon, so I'm going to be using a few repels. And well, here we have a Magby. Very, very interesting Pokemon. Now, I also need to capture more Pokemon to level up my Pokemon. I also need to capture more Pokemon because I need to actually trade some Pokemon right here, too. And I can't just keep on trading the same ones over and over and over again. So, here we go. Aqua Jet and Magby has been defeated. Now, I'm thinking once Puka evolves, then that's when I'm going to start capturing a lot more Pokemon. And speak of the devil. <laughs> we got Puka to evolve. So here it is, guys. A finally evolving Puka. And I think it's through a happiness evolution. And we've already had this Pokemon here before. We named it both Aaliyah after my niece and and Sparky, the very first Pokemon I ever got in this channel. And well, here we have a female Pikachu. And this one will be added to the PC or to the Pokedex. And look at that. We got female Pikachu. And well, that increases our percentages just a tad bit. So here we go. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon, it's a it is in nature or it's in its nature to store electricity. It feels stressed now and then if it's unable to fully discharge the electricity, which is pretty cool right there. Now, like I said, it looks like to me that I will now be capturing different types of Pokemon. Just to level up my Pokemon right here. Uh, Joker won't be evolving until level 36. Puka needs a Firestone. I'm not planning on doing anything much with Yokozuna. Inferno Inferno Blade will, won't evolve until like probably level 30. Ultra Psycho is fully evolved. And Dump Truck won't evolve until like level 39. So I'm pretty safe right here just to get my Pokemon all leveled up and crud. So... What's going to happen now is... Well, let's go ahead and keep on going with Joker right here. Because this is the Joker show. Featuring Joker. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, it's a trial goer. Show me your Pokemon and let's see it. Let, let me see the sights. Okay, alrighty. And here we go. Going up against Sightseer Mariah. Mariah Carey right here. And... She is coming out with the Cantonian uh, Meowth, so we're going to be going straight with Joker right here. And, well, let's go right ahead, and uh, let's go with the uh, Water Gun right here. Water Gun. And, yes, this uh, yeah, this Meowth is going to be a little bit faster than us, so we're going to be going again with uh, the Bite Attack on us. And we're going to be going straight for a Water Gun. And there goes Meowth. So let's go straight for an Aqua Jet, just to be a little bit quicker than this guy. So here we go, Aqua Jet does its thing, Meowth is gone, I am good, and look at that, level 24 for Joker. 
and it wants to learn Bubble Beam. So that's a pretty good move right there. Let's go straight for Water Gun. Increase its attack just a tad bit more, guys. It deserves it. It really does. And, well, we, yes, we have done our job right here. Huh. Okay, so that is that. I, I'm, I'm only thinking that maybe I should, I should start using uh, repels because I don't want to get attacked by all these Pokemon. I also want to give out a little bit more experience points for all my other Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and go with Yokozuna. See what it can do. I, I'm pretty sure it can hold its own right here since its attack is pretty high up there. And well, let's see. Let's talk to her. I'm the cutest of these seismic sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave here leads to the top of the volcanoes, just so you know. Just so you know. Alrighty, so here we are at the very top, and that right there is where you'll be going to do your trial. And if you go right here, you're going to be skipping out on it. So, I'm, I'm only thinking that it's only appropriate for us to go in and take on... Uh, well, do the trial right here. Here we are in the Well Up Volcano Park, and here we have Kawaii, I think. Kawaii, Kawaii. And, well, Kiwai, Kiawe, Kiawe. And, well, my Merwek and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kawaii. You will, you will find that it's a bit different than the trials you have faced it at this point. But, of course, you will attempt it, right? Of course! And here we are, guys. Another trial. And my trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance and then another. Your task is to... It will be to find the differences between the two. Begin! And, well, as you can see, they're going to be dancing... A lowland Marowax right here. They're both ghost and fire, I would like to say. Bam. So that's one. Now watch carefully and memorize the dance. Uh, I think I've already spotted it. Yep, I spotted it. What's the difference uh, from the previous dance? The middle Marowak. But 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 how? That was truly spectacular. And to add this uh, to the spectacle, come Marowak. Whack! And, well, we are going to have to battle this Pokemon right here. And, unfortunately, we can't capture him. But there is another thing to this guy, and that is that, you know, it is both a Ghost and Fire type. I could be wrong, guys. Comment down below. And if I do, yeah, if I do any of these attacks, it's not going to work. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Dump Truck right here. Dump Truck. Dump truck. Oh, yeah, it is a fire and ghost type Pokemon. And here comes a bone club. Super effective against dump truck, and it's going to hit me more than once, I guess. But here we go. Let's go for a bite attack. And this will actually hurt Marowak. And of course, poison touch will actually hurt Marowak. And of course, curse body will hurt us. And yeah, it got flinched. So we're both hurting right now. So let's go right ahead and go for another bite attack. No, it's disabled. Crap baskets. All right, let's go with a poisoned uh, fang. And it's okay because it's already been poisoned. Let's go straight for a poison fang. And that nearly defeats him. Here comes a growl attack. Yeah, Marowak is a pretty cool Pokemon to actually have on your team. And it's already hurting with the uh, with the poison that we've uh, given it. So here we go again. Dump truck with a poison fang. And say goodbye to Marowak right there. And there we go. More experience points for everybody. Not just, you know, dump truck, but for everybody. And dumped or you Yokozuna doing his thing. Inferno Blade level 20. And well, that's one down. We got two more trial, two more of these things to go. So Marowak was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. Okay, what the hell? Okay, so that right there is kind of weird. Okay, watch carefully and memorize the dance. Huh. It's the hiker. <laughs> What's the difference from a previous dance? And it's the hiker. And, but how? 
That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come on, my fine hiker. Alola. And here we go with a Pokemon battle against a hiker. And we're going to be facing Hiker David right here. And he will only have one Pokemon, so... Let's see. There we go. He's coming out with a Magmar. Now, that used to be a fully evolved Magmar until, you know, just recently. And, well, here we go with Yokozuna. And... You know what? Let's go with a Brick Break. And here comes Fire Spin Attack. Now, I think Yokozuna does have uh, thick fat, so it won't be effective very much. And, yes, just because of that flame... Yeah, that fire spin is just gonna it's gonna trap us and not give us anything right here. So here comes another fire spin from Magmar, and right now Yokozuna's not having it. So here we go with a force palm, and that right there will actually burn us. Wow. Yeah, we're we're getting destroyed right here. Yokozuna is not feeling it. That's double the attack, and so far Yokozuna is not going to see the light of day for the next battle. So here we go with another force palm. Fire spin really hurts us right there, and there goes Yokozuna. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick, but you know what? Yokozuna will be avenged. Let's go, Joker. And time to use Le Bubble Attack. Le Bubbles. Okay, so here we go. Bubble Attack for the win, and oh crap. Clear Smog hits us pretty hard right there, but here comes Le Bubble Attack, the Bubble Beam. And the Bubba Beam has done its thing. Magmar has been defeated. And, well, that is pretty much it. Hiker David has been defeated. And I am looking for my pencil right here. So, yes, we have won and get we gotten a little bit more for the uh, for the winnings. And, um, yeah, poor, poor Joker has been uh, muddied up. So, we're going to clean it up with the towel right here. And there we go. Cleaning it up. And it is happy. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. What is next? I think the final trial right here. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Onward to the next dance. Oh, crud. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> One of them is taking a picture. Watch carefully. Memorize his dance. Oh my god, okay, and... <laughs> okay, where did that guy come from? Uh... Well... If you had to say the suspicious Pokemon, but then again, they're all correct. So let's go with the suspicious Pokemon, but how? That was truly spectacular, and the end of that spectacle... Come on, Totem Pokemon! Oh, crap! So that is the Totem Pokemon that we have to face. And look at that. We are taking on uh, Totem Salazzle. I've mentioned this before, guys. Salazzle. The only way you can get this Pokemon is if you evolved it as a female. The Pokemon that you will be, you know, facing up against, its allies, it's a Sandalit. And the best way to defeat this Pokemon is through a ground-type Pokemon. Ground, water, uh, psychic, and rock. So what's going to happen is I'm going to switch it up right here. Let's go straight for Ultra Psycho. Yes, we gotta destroy this guy with one hit. That's right, we're gonna we're gonna hit it and we're not gonna care. And here comes a flame burst attack. This one really hits us hard, and then it's gonna call its ally Pokemon. And from there it's gonna have a sandal it uh, you know, protect it or do something with it. Okay, here we go. Sabim for the win, finisher. Okay, where are you? Come on. Come on. I need this win. Here comes a side beam attack. And that right there nearly takes out Salazzle. And here comes a torment attack. So now we can't even use that move. Here comes a Venice shock. And that right there will actually hurt us a little bit. So let's see. Let's see. Let's go with a disable attack. Let's go with Sandalit right here. Okay, so you won't be able to use that attack anymore. And here comes a Flame Burst, which won't hurt us very much. Now, Torment is pretty much the... Like, we can't use the same attack uh, twice, I think. So, here we go. Let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam. And finish off Salazzle right here. Come on! 
give us the win. And here we go, Ultra Psycho. Destroys Super Saiyan Salazzle. So yeah, look at that. Level 24, Ultra Psycho. Kicking butt, taking names. And, well, everybody else is gaining levels, including Inferno Blade. And, well, here comes a Scratch Attack. <laughs> You're weak. Okay, time to finish this guy off, and I have no more moves left. What the hell? How did I not have any moves? How did that happen? Wait, I got. I, I'm so confused right now. Okay, so that is that for him. So let's see. Let's go with Puka right here. Puka. Oink. Here we go. And let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy now that Puka has evolved into a Pikachu. Here we go. Oh my god, that is super strong right there, and it is increasing its attack just a bit more. Here comes a taunt attack, so really we can't really do much, and you are no longer disabled. Let's go again with the charge beam. And that is that. Say goodbye to good old Sandalit. Yes. Okay. And Pikachu, or Puka, has won it all for us. And, well, let's see. Look at that. Okay, so, whoa! Spectacular! With your keen observations, you you were able to see the, even the fine differences of the uh, totem. And you were de and you defeated the totem Pokemon with such ease. The totem Pokemon was carrying the Fire Z. It's yours now. Okay. And, well, this is our next example of a gym badge right here. So, I am going to throw that peace sign, guys. Oh, yes. I'm throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Peace sign. My hand is now on fire. And I don't think I've ever used any of the uh, the Z crystals yet. Not yet. And, well, let's see. This is how you use the fire type Z power. Will I get six pack like yours? Oh, damn. Look at the pose. Woo! Okay. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you uh, for when you meet a Pokemon that you would uh, like to make your companion, take these. We get ourselves a ten Quick Balls, and what's more, you may now use the Ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you its strength, and you will be able to go anywhere uh, you have been in an instant. Oh my God, he shouldn't have done that because <laughs> I got quite a few things to do now. The Fire MZ, you should uh, you should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountains. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of the Alolan people in our Pokemon and the true nature of the Z power. The answers lie in our dance, and so we must dance on. Okay. Okay, so that right there was very interesting. I cannot believe that now we got ourselves a Charizard Glide. And this will actually, this is basically fly, guys. It, it's fly. So, what's going to happen right now is I might take a side quest. And, no, nah, I'm not, not going to take a side quest. I'm probably going to go up to Route 8. As you can see down there in the map, you can actually see that that's the next place we have to go. But, since we do have the, uh, the Charizard Glide, I kind of want to use that right now. So, let's go right ahead and... Actually fly towards uh, let's see. Let's go fly towards the Royal Avenue. This is uh, This is spectacular right here 20 episodes. We finally get ourselves a Charizard glide This is a big feature right here guys and uh, Well, let's see We got four or we got the four. Uh, what was it called the Z Z crystals, right? We got four Z crystals and we got quite a few to go Uh so what I'm going to do off screen, I'm probably, yeah, I'm going to be capturing a lot of Pokemon off screen, guys. So if you see some of my Pokemon all charged up or powered up and all that stuff, it's because I've been capturing all the Pokemon that I've passed by right here. The only reason my team has, you know, it's, has been a little bit under leveled is because normally when I play these games, including Pokemon Sun, I capture Pokemon as much as I can. And then that powers up my Pokemon right there because, you know, experience points when you capture Pokemon. Pretty good feature. So, in the next episode, I am going to actually... You know what? We're going to go to Route 8. 
we're gonna go to route eight and we're gonna take care of business right there uh, don't be again don't be too surprised if we you know if you see some of my Pokemon all powered up and everything you see more Pokemon on my pokedex and whatnot so thank you guys again for watching I will see you guys next time